What's up guys? So today, what I want to talk about, this video is actually called uh, Cutting Through Prayer. And the reason that I titled that video this is because, um, you know, let's be honest. Uh, there is still power in prayer. As, uh, as a practicing dark witch or black magician, you got to admit that. When you focus your will and your intent on something, and it's very strong, there's power in that. And also the laying of hands on somebody. There's power in that. Whether you want to call it prayer, whether you want to call it healing, whether you want to call it any kind of, uh, you know, anything mystical that you want to call it. So let's say that you want to go ahead and, and attack someone magically. You know, you want to go ahead and uh, attack a Christian or somebody who a Christian prays a lot for. You know, and if they have enough strong prayer around them, keep in mind that, you know, the light also has power as well. Okay. If they have a strong enough protection of prayer around them, uh, and you're not strong enough, you're not a strong enough uh, witch or magician, that can backfire back at you. Okay, let's, you know, let's be honest. You're still dealing with... Uh, you're still still dealing with some with with a, a a hedge of protection of energy that's been put around that person now what do you do you know you can go ahead and see if you can rely on your own power or you can use the help of a deity um either one will work it just depends on how strong you are how strong your magic is you can do a divination First of all, make sure you research this person. Make sure you know you find out how you know you do a divination, any divination method, you know, or ask around, do some digging before you attack your target. Find if they're a Christian, find out how you know how serious they are about their about their beliefs. Find out how uh, if they're if they're not. Find out if if any. You know, any any person is has a strong hedge of, of protection, whether it be Christian prayer, whether it be any other kind of uh, uh, mystical protection around them. You know, they could have a, there could be another witch that has a hedge of protection around them. Thing is, you got to cut through that barrier. You know, even if somebody even if somebody has a, a strong, a, a devout Christian who is is very has very strong will and intent in, in putting spiritual protection around that person. You know, the, let's say, you know, even, you know, the archangels Michael and Gabriel have put a hedge of protection around them. You got to be able to cut through that. Okay. And I, I know from experience, you know what I mean? And I know other, other, uh, you know, other instances in, in life, you know, where, where if you, if you attack, try to attack somebody and it backfires, all of a sudden, bam, you get hit, you get hurt very bad, and you get two or three years taken off of your life. Okay, so what do you do in that situation? Well, one thing that you might be able to do is choose a high enough ranking demon that will be able to cut through that, that protection, that barrier of light that's been put around them. You know, you know, even, uh, you know, someone who's, uh, someone who's a soldier of the light, you know, someone who is, uh, a devout Christian can put a hedge of protection around a person that even comes from an archangel like Michael or Gabriel. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you choose a high enough ranking demon and they are out there who can go ahead and cut right through that barrier of protection so that you can hit your target no matter how much prayer they have around them no matter how much light is protecting them the darkness can get through have faith in the darkness you can hit your target no matter who they are you just got to know what you're working with and you got to have a specific plan on how to hit them 
you know, go ahead and, 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 and petition a, a very powerful demon if you need to. But you can hit your target. The darkness can prevail against the light. And you can cut around a hedge of protection around them, whether it's from, you know, Christian prayer or from another, you know, a witch has another type of protection around them. You can hit them, but just know that that can backfire if you, if you, you know, if you mess up and you don't get it right. If you never underestimate your, underestimate your enemy, but have faith in the darkness that it can cut through and hit the light.